What's up guys, it's Waddle Dodger here from the Halo Fix, bringing you another Tuesday tip. Today's tip is another Ricochet Throws tip, and it's here on Pitfall instead. Pitfall is one of the main uh, Ricochet maps, because that's where it was uh, originated on. So let's get started. The balls will spawn here at Rockets, and at the beginning it will spawn here in the middle. And it can also spawn down there in the runway. So here's what I would like to do off the start. Uh, let's start with the middle area and throws you can do from here. This is my favorite because uh, it's really fast. It's right from the middle. You just throw it through that gap. When you're doing this throw, you need to do it exactly how I tell you right here. Obviously, you want to not hit this top ceiling right here in the hallway because, you know, that'll mess up the throw. Essentially, we're trying to make it through this gap above the green wall and above, uh, in between the green wall and the green ceiling. But here's the key part right here. You have to hit the ceiling for this throw to work because this is what brings the ball to go on its downward trajectory towards the goal. As you can see here, it hits the ceiling, it bounces down, still goes through the gap. That's also key. You want it to go through the gap after hitting that ceiling and goes towards the goal. So basically, just remember not to hit this part and to hit this part. Um, if you don't hit that top ceiling, this is what happens. It just misses and it doesn't go down and it hits the ceiling above, right above the goalpost. Now if that throws too hard for you, you can always just take another extra step to jump to the side and throw it, which is just super easy. Uh, it just takes a little bit less time and you're usually going to get shot once you come through that tunnel. Or, if there's a lot of enemies, you can back up, do a spring jump onto that corner, and throw from there. But if you can't spring jump, no worries. You can always jump onto this railing, and then jump onto it. And this throw right here is very uh, proper, because I avoid bouncing it uh, in front of the goal first. It just goes straight through. This is, a cool th this is one of my favorite throws on this map, because it's like a whole cross-map throw. As you can see, you do not want it to bounce necessarily on the platform in front of the base. You want it to miss that, go straight through the hole, and into their goal. That is a primary uh, throw right there. Or you can come to the side and throw from here also. But if that's due, sometimes that throws really hard. You can jump on this lamppost and throw from here instead. You get a nice little height advantage. Make sure you make it through there. Now, starting over here. Uh, a lot of people know about this throw. But don't get too eager and throw it like that. Get a little bit back, make sure it bounces and rolls in like that. And even better than that, because you don't want it to hit the platform, remember? So you can throw it up and make it miss that and go straight in. Everybody knows about that throw, but make sure you uh, avoid goalkeepers, because most people are going to have goalkeepers right there on that box, and they will get this ball. Just watch out for those goalkeepers, so always be aiming for the back. Now, if there's a lot of enemies on the other side of that hall, you can always back up and try to throw from there. It doesn't work on this side, though. This is one of the advantages of Red Team, because this bridge stops it. On Red Team, you see there's not a bridge uh, to block their path. So on Red Team, you can go over here. And I'll get into this later, how Red Team has uh, a few advantages over Blue Team on this map and some other maps. Or if there is no other people in front of you, you can go forward into this short hall. And don't throw it like that, but throw it like this. Watch, watch what I do here. This is key to this uh, this video. I hit the corner goalpost. I hit the wall. And that's what makes it go in. Now, don't think that that works over here. The walls are not bouncy. It will not bounce off that wall and go in. It will just roll down the staircase. Moving on to the runway, this is the key fastest throw, I would say, is awesome from that area. This spawns over there. Very difficult throw on the blue side. Because, see, I just barely weaved it through. Um, this is what most of your throws are going to look like from this area. They're not going to end up missing the platform in front. They'll probably bounce off the platform and then eventually roll in. But if that's a hard throw, you can always come up to this grab lift and throw it from up in sword room from here. Watch what I did there. You see how I used that goal post? That's what made it get in. Or you can even come from this little window slot even further up and throw it from there. Also using the goalpost. This key corner is very key to either side of throwing it like I showed you earlier. Do not want to hit the wall, it won't go in from there. And you want to make sure you don't hit the ceiling. 
You want to hit this because that'll make it bounce into the bounce onto the box and into the goal. Here's some examples of why it doesn't work anywhere else. You see, it just bounces. I think it might go in, but it won't. For whatever reason, the physics of this ball is quite crazy, and that doesn't go in either. So, as you can see from all these other shots, um, on blue side there's a major disadvantage because it bounces to the left. Uh, the ball bounces to the left uh, for whatever reason, and it's very difficult to make shots from this area from the map on blue side. Uh, on blue team, to make to make goals from that area, I should say. Unless use the goalpost. If there's nobody at the end of the runway, you can always run up here and use the grab lifts and throw it through that little crevice from up on top of their tower. And even you can throw from over here, surprisingly. Uh, I said it doesn't bounce off the wall, but there's this little hill to help it roll the rest of the way. So on to the red team and their advantages. By the way, this is my very favorite way to start off a ricochet game on Pitfall. Kind of throwing grenades at the enemies, making them back up, and then using that throw I showed you at the very beginning to, you know get a really quick throw in they would probably not even expect. No one's going to be at their goal at the beginning. No goalkeeper, probably. Now, that was a really long roll in. Well, not essential, but it works. And here's where Red Team's advantage comes into play. As you can see, the ball bounces to the left. I mentioned this in the video earlier, but this is for those who have not seen that video or are new to Halo Fix. Ricochet balls bounce to the left. This is just amazing to me. I don't understand. But look at how much it helps it go in. Completely in the wrong direction, it bounces straight in. So a lot of the throws from the sword area are a lot easier on red team than they are on blue team because the ball will actually bounce towards the area they want it to. Watch this, watch this. You can watch the icon bounce to the left from here. See? See how that works? I don't know why. It's, uh, it's just really intriguing to me. And so it gives red team quite a big advantage on this map. So the, all the throws on blue side can also be done on red side, red side, and even easier. Once again, the walls aren't that bouncy. That throw will not go in. It'll just roll down the staircase. And to reiterate the importance of these goalposts, you can basically throw it from anywhere in front of the base and use these goalposts to make it in. Something I failed to mention earlier is if you don't want people to hear you coming up the grav lift, you can spring jump onto this post, this pole right there, and jump the rest of the way. Not really necessary because there is an icon above your head when you hold the ball, but uh, it, that's just a cool little jump I want to show you. And if you're in trouble and the enemy's about to score on you, you can always throw the ball up into top mid like that to make it reset. Once again, guys, like I always say, none of these are set throws. Uh, maneuver the map the way you want to and throw it wherever you want to and learn how to throw the walls the way you want to. As always, this is Waddle Acha signing out. Thank <laughs> you.